Hey everybody. So this video is mostly an update of what I've been up to, because I haven't posted a video in a little while, and it also involves a little bit of work on the camper. So I got a chainsaw mill for my little 20 inch steel chainsaw, and I've been milling up some maple slabs. A maple tree had fallen down and I had bucked it up for firewood and I discovered it was spalted. Here they are before they're actually milled. These are the first ones I did. I've done quite a few as you shall see. Oh, hello Penelope Pie. Better known as Penny. Hi Lars. Are you tired from our walk? Oh, I know. I don't know why you don't lie on your little blanket. Hey, are you excited? You wanna paint the camper? Do you wanna paint the camper? We're gonna paint the camper. We're gonna paint the camper. Oh yeah, oh, 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 you're so excited. You're so excited to paint, aren't you? I Tom sorted you into it. Hey, are you ready to paint the camper? Let me get you in the shop. Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get ready and we're gonna paint, okay? All right, we are back in the shop today. I've been working out of town the last three weeks. Well, during the week back. I've been gone for work a lot. We've been over to the island, Powell River, a few other spots along the Sunshine Coast. Been very busy. So this weekend, finally, after three weeks later than I planned on, I am going to be painting the camper. Hi, Penny. How are you? Hey, you are the worst one to photograph. Oh, such a happy little puppy. Happy little puppy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, who else is here? Oh, it's Lars. Hey, why don't you lie on the blanket? Well, I guess you got a wet. Hey, you gonna say hi to everyone? Oh, are you tired from your walk? <laughs> are you camera shy? Are you camera shy, buddy? Oh, yeah. Well, you all comfy? You all comfy? Because we're going to paint the camper. It's time to paint that camper. And I don't even have to empty it out. So quite a few fairies lately, even when the weather's cloudy the view is still pretty spectacular. Just like this view. So not a ton of work on the camper in this video. I did paint the whole thing, I didn't show it all. It's kind of boring, it's all kind of the same thing. And the trim of course is going to be painted a darker color. I've been really working on getting all my little slabs and stuff going. I wish they were longer. We do have three sections of logs that are five to seven feet long of this bolted maple, as well as some longer cedar pieces which are trying to get dried. And the short ones, some of them, like the tr there was a tree that was uh, two trunk sections and one snapped off. So it was kind of half live, some of the pieces, and half of it was in rotten away and spalting. Oh, and here's a pheasant, which I think was someone's pet because it was very tame. It was hanging out back on some of this firewood here. He's pretty tame. I think it's a pheasant. I could be wrong. Bird people? 
let us know in the comments below. Here's some saw horses I've been making for some sight work. There, of course, will be like a workbench tabletop that will go on top of that. This is a chainsaw mill that I made for Husqvarna's largest chainsaw they make, the 3120 XP. And it is based on Izzy Swan's design on YouTube. Because this beast was too much to manage. Here it is in action. The spalted, the spalted maple is throwing a ton of dust. This chain was getting pretty dull. Decided to film it before I shut down for the day. And this is top speed or full speed. This has not been slowed down. Chainsaw Millen's pretty slow. But it worked pretty well. But I think we're going to get an actual sawmill. And here is some of that maple. Even the plain shavings have spalt. It's pretty cool. So I have a few small pieces that are dry enough to get started and a bunch of other stuff that's it's getting pretty close. It's almost to equilibrium. There's a couple little serving boards I made just to see what this stuff looked like when it was finished. And these are just a few more of the latest stuff I milled. Just have to mill up the longer pieces. I wish I not, had not bucked those up so short. This is some of the refacing work I've been doing on the island. Just thought I might show you some random clips. You can see what I've been up to. So yeah, these were all red. Uh, most of these ones we actually made a number of years ago. And then the colors have changed. They've actually changed twice. They went to this barn wood stuff. Oh yeah, this is the stuff that's dr the driest, the first stuff I milled. That is some butternut. That is some of the cedar we milled. I've got a couple more logs, but they did sit in the sun last summer. I've got a lot of checking. So these ones need a lot of epoxy work. A little bit of cherry mixed in there. I don't know how that stuff's gonna turn out. These crotches look really cool, but I think I dried them out too fast already started warping. These ones are all pretty stable. And that's some of the longer cedar we have. I don't know if we're able to save all the live edges because of uh, the checking on the outside. These are the seven foot long sections of that spalted maple. So these I've got to get milled up. But yeah, it's been pretty busy. Hey Gringo, we're going fishing at Weaver Lake. Nothing like a little fishing on a Friday morning. Hey, you're going for the Michael Phelps training for the next Olympia. <laughs> That's a long swim. What do you got there? That's a pretty long swim. That was a good one, buddy. Oh, okay, you shake off away from me. <laughs> Little bit muddy. Little bit muddy.
So these are the most recent ones I've milled up. I was saying before, I wish I would have left them longer. I didn't know they were spalted. They were just going to be firewood. So I wish I will have some longer pieces of the latest logs, but I coated the ends of these uh, in two coats of type on two glue. Uh, the first ones I milled, I didn't, but I ended up coating the edges after, but the other ones I did them when they were in the round. It's a lot easier. So they're sealed before they slice them. And the ones on the bottom here, you can see are still coated with glue and they're rough. And the one up top I trimmed, it's not sanded or anything, but you can see the figure in this. So. Hoping to salvage a lot of this. There's gonna be some epoxy work, but I probably have like 50 or 70 of these things. But anyway, so that's a little update of stuff I've been up to, I'm pretty busy with. And uh, I have been getting back to do some work on the camper. So videos will be resuming shortly. And I hope you guys will be there to check it out. So thanks a lot for watching.